we still going to be seeing this page again if we do have an error. So that um, also goes to the next point I want to say is that if I do have an error, I want to put back my text because I don't want to retype everything. So I'm going to go and put in PHP in here. And I'm going to return uh, my title and content. But I'm going to also duplicate these values um, because I want to uh, use MySQL Escape and I do not want to put that back into the uh, HTML below. So I'm going to go here, save that, and I'm going to say echo dollar sign. Uh, well, I'm going to do the test again if it is set. And it's content 2, not 20. Um, I'm going to put in echo content. But I also want to do one more thing because I do not want to have um, HTML injection issues. I'm going to say uh, HTML entities and do that. So it should be safe now for the content. And I'm going to copy this again and go into my... Uh, my title thing here and for it I am going to uh, say value equals the following and I am going to put in my PHP again and I'm going to do the same thing with my title and put that in there and I gotta put the two here now the thing to point out here is that the value for the title is in quotes here. But because we're using HTML entities, it should um, change our quote to something like, uh, man, where's the end symbol? There we go. And QOT or something like that. Um, or whatever. So I'll test that later. So now, if we do have a problem, it'll come back and fill back up our content for us. So let's continue with preparing the. Um, the content. So I'm going to say title equals MySQL uh, real escape string title. And now I'm going to say content equals MySQL real escape string of the content. So um, now that that's all good, I'm going to, uh, it sh I should have uh, the SQL ready, but um, just to uh, I'm just going to leave it there. I'm going to echo MySQL just for preparing and debugging purposes with testing. Now, I'm not. What I plan to do here is um, execute the query and then um, redirect to the post page and all that. So I'm going to save this. And the next thing we need to do is actually put the link up in blog.php because right now we don't have it linked, but we have it ready to be linked. So I'm going to go down here to the post h, um, and add in the attribute href equals put.php. So I'm going to save, go here, refresh this, and I can go down to post.php. And I'm just going to put in a title. I'm going to say blah and put a quote there and e another quote. And put in some content here and send. So let's see here. My username and values, okay, that's the right ID because I'm the first user. And as you see, the uh, quotes came back in correctly. So if I, um, in turn, went to the source, you'll see that inside of my value here, the HTML entities saved the, um, me having to uh, manually replace the quote symbols with um, the correct entity to use. Um, and that is this and quote thing with the uh, semicolon at the end of it. So, um, as you see here, uh, this is the escaped one that should be good for the MySQL. And as you see, there's a backslash R for uh, the return type of thing and the backslash N for the new line. So I have a return carriage and a new line. And MySQL will handle it. It should be all good. And then here's my timestamp. If I refreshed again, it should update that timestamp because of the seconds. So now, all I need to do is, because I know that it works, 
uh, let's just say I do this right here and I send it. Okay, look, I now have the error showing up. That looks great. So I'm going to say uh, title con uh, content is awesome. And I'm going to say main content is awesome. Lots of ham burgers. Spelled completely wrong. Love uh, cheese on their heads. And don't forget the mustard packets. I don't know why. Okay. So I'm going to send that. As you can see, it has the SQL up there like I want. So I'm going to go back, and I'm not going to echo it now. I am going to actually query it. So I'm going to say MySQL, query, SQL, and we should be all good. And if, uh, let's just say, if MySQL error, um, then I'm going to, uh, actually it should be error number. I don't remember. Let's try this again. There we go. So this should um, provide a number for us and it should be zero if everything's good. And if um, there's an error then I can echo out the uh, MySQL error. I actually think I should put it in reason. So I'm going to put that there. So, if there is no error, um, then I should um, uh, redirect. And the way I do that again is using header uh, location. I'm going to put in blog.php and save. So, I'm going to send this. And now, as you can see, I have uh, this new post right here. I'm going to click on this and you can see that but there's no new line showing up so I'm gonna go ahead and also show you um, how to get that working there so for the content I could say NL2BR that means new line to uh, break return and that's converting the uh, backslash ends to BR type of things as you can see from what I typed um, so that should help us with the content there and I might as well just copy this function and implement it into my post.php. Um, I probably will not provide that change inside the tutorial in text because it's so minimal. But um, it will be updated inside of the source archive that is provided. So I'm going to save that, go back here, refresh. And now as you see, um, my post now has the new line showing up. And that is the uh, main important thing about this tutorial. We now can post new content and, um, well, that's about it. Um, but it's important that you know how to do your checking and your validation uh, uh, for everything and have a way to report your errors. Then also uh, make sure that you escape your content so that it safely goes into the SQL and you do not have problems with uh, with SQL injection uh, through other means. Now that function right there does not save you from everything and um, that's possible that people can exploit but it usually handles it for the basic projects for learning. Uh, if you want to know of uh, several functions you can look up certain things about um, SQL uh, preparing. Uh, you can actually use the MySQLi, which um, is used uh, as an object-oriented manner, which should handle it for you uh, better than um, these functions themselves, but I'm just using these because they're easier to learn with the first time. Okay, so this is Club Up 321. I make PHP tutorials, as you probably will know at this point. My site is clubup321.com slash php Python tutorials for my tutorial section in which you can uh, view my videos and you can go to any of my posts um, and ask a question where I might clear it up for you. I usually will. And um, 
If you uh, feel the need to, you can subscribe to my YouTube um, page at at the uh, youtube.com slash top of 321 and uh, you can also search it inside of the search thing here. So again, um, please go to my tutorial site. Um, I should have the content up when this video is up so you can actually scroll down to the bottom like any of my other posts and find the uh, zip archive part where it's linked. You can click on it and you can download the archive, extract it, and it should work after you change the content inside of the connect um, file which handles uh, stuff with the database. And also you have to import the database um, so you can have everything working just as I have it working here. Okay, and this is Club 321 signing off.